I do makeup. I do hair. <laughs> I started to do press on nails. I'm also a painter. It's motherfucking lit. It's motherfucking lit. It's motherfucking lit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's getting to it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so starting off, I did want to start off with um, some stiletto nails. I decided not to file them because um, I do have a two-year-old. So sometimes, you know, <laughs> that just turns into a thing. Oh, you scratch me. Like, he's really dramatic. So we're not going to even go there today. So starting off, I did end up using the Soak Off Polish, which means that it's non-white. So, um, I got the polish off of Sheen, and I'll just be dropping that down below in the description so that y'all can see exactly which one I got. It was in the color 600. Um, so, all you would have to do is type in non-wipe on uh, Sheen, and then the color 600 will be on there. It's more of like a nudish salmon baby pink mixture going on, and that's kind of why I like it because it's very unique. So, you can kind of see the color a little bit more on this clip. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm just trying to saturate the nail as much as possible because I didn't file it. I was being a little lazy. So <laughs> I was like in a rush because I never get to drop mystery Mondays on Monday and I still didn't get to drop it on YouTube. Uh, <laughs> so it won't be dropping until Tuesday. So if you're watching this, it should be a Tuesday. And then we're going to go in with um, this like baby blue. It's like a darker baby blue color. Now these colors I got off of Amazon and I was kind of like count y'all days because the polish was about the size of my pinky. Like the whole polish though. Like not, I'm not talking about the bottom part. Because the bottom part was about this big. I'll be excited. But literally the entire polish is about the size of my finger. So I was womp, womp, womp disappointed. So all you all seeing me do here is just go. <laughs> I can't even focus because I'm still mad about that. Like count y'all days Amazon. But they are good polishes. So like if you're a beginner like me, I would still get them so you're not... You know, like wasting polish, especially trying to explore and learn and, you know, create different things. Especially if you like me, because I'll, I'll like overthink and create something that's just horrendous. So right now, we're just going over all the nails of one coat. And I just want to quickly advertise my book. I am using my front camera, so it's going to be the opposite way. So this just says the nail book. Um, this was originally a coloring book that I created because, remember, I told you I'm an artist. So this was the back. And I just kind of like digitally uh, created this based off of nail sets that I had already seen. But um, here's an example. This is an example of today's. So I just used one to kind of save some space. And this is not a marker version. This is a, um, a color pencil version. So this will be like the set that I'm going to be working on for Tippy Tuesdays. <laughs> Look at my filter. Um... This is going to be the hand for that. I decided to color it with the color pencil so y'all can see. The reason why it's not a marker book is because it is front to back. A marker book will have nothing on the back, okay? So, let's get back to the nails. I want to show y'all the size of the polishes because I'm far from a liar. <laughs> anyway, so after we get this done... um. I'm going to show y'all like what I have as a whole so y'all can see the order in which I did the nails. If you want to do your own order, that's cool. If you want to just steal like one of the nails that I did, that's cool too. I think that this is a super basic set. And I think that if you really sit down and take your time as a beginner, I feel like you can get this. Um, even though I'm a painter, don't think that I'm having a, the easiest time over here because I'm not. Um, nail polish is completely different as painting and drawing to me. It is very tedious and the nails are smaller. I'm used to having a larger canvas. So it's a challenge for me too. So after you get your um, first layer, you're going to start to go over everything twice. You want to do a second layer. You do not want like a super thin, thin layer where you can kind of see through it unless it's like jelly polish. And I was still going with two layers of jelly polish. I wouldn't just, you know, throw anything on the nails because even if you're the one wearing them, you still want to have something where people are like, oh my God, you did that. You don't want to, like, don't, don't, don't give yourself the short end of the stick with this. So I'm just proving to y'all right here that I did do a second layer. <laughs> I want y'all to see how much better the second layer looks compared to the first. 
And also back to um my coloring book. Um, the only place I'm selling it right now is TikTok Shop. If you do not have TikTok Shop, feel free to find me on Instagram and we can do a custom order for you. But right now, TikTok Shop is the only platform that I'm using. I kind of just got tired of paying for Shopify. I don't have enough uh, customers to continue to use Shopify. It was just like a $50 charge every month um, for nothing, pretty much. I wasn't profiting enough. You get what I'm saying? Like I was coming out of my own pocket. So I was like, no, not. I just need to build my following a little bit more. And I'm saying like as far as like artistic wise, I'm not saying that I don't think I'll sell nails and stuff like that as much or like, you know, other products. But anyway, moving on to the tips. So for the tip, oh my gosh, I just put a line down the middle. That's the only way I can explain how I would do this type of tip. I put a line down the middle as far as I think I want the tip to come up. And then I just kind of make two C's you know, to that meet into the line. So you want to do almost like a U shape that meets into the line that you put down the middle. As long as they meet, you can kind of pretty much like form it from there. Don't think too deep into it. That's why it's good to use gel polish because unless you put the gel polish under the UV light, it's not going to cure. So you have time to kind of like get a brush or like take a small um, non-cotton wipe and just kind of like, you know, Clean it up a little bit. So as y'all can see, whenever I'm finishing up my tip, I'm just, um, I just go ahead and use the rest of the, like the little small polish bottle. Um, if I'm dealing with like a wider um, polish, then I'll just use a, um, a flat brush. So moving on to my favorite nail because I love the crystal nails. I really do. I really do. Um, I just went in with a top coat. I know everybody does this different. But um, some people would use like a rhinestone glue and that might be better because this will slide if you're using a top coat. But I was like, I'm just going to take the easy route. I'm going to just go ahead and use the top coat. So I used the top coat. I got me a piece of paper. I folded it. I just did it like this with my hands. And then that's what I'm going to use for the pieces to fall on. So majority of it goes into that and it's easier to pour back into the bag. So y'all can't really see because I am covering up with my hand right here, but all I'm doing is pouring it over the top coat. So, yeah. And then y'all will see me kind of like dip it in there as well. Like, try to get some of the spots that I really couldn't get by pouring it. I was kind of rushing because once my kids are out of school and once my kids are awake, I don't get the chance to do this. So, if I'm not on time, y'all got to excuse me. I am working on it, okay? But now y'all are seeing me dip it right here, yes. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, look how pretty it is, though. Just look at it. It just, it's kind of giving me Christmas vibes. But I really don't want to do a Christmas set until December. I'm really trying to hold out, but I don't know because we still have Tippy Tuesdays. Today technically is when I'm going to be doing tippy, tippy Tuesdays. Y'all probably get the video tomorrow. But we still doing Tippy Tuesdays, so I don't know what I want to do. Um, If y'all want to throw out any ideas for next tuesday if i decide to do a nail set on thursday then y'all's ideas will come into play and i'll put them on the spin wheel and we'll get it popping you know what i'm saying because we're going to use the spin wheel for tippy tuesday too at first i was kind of like i'm gonna do what i want to do but i think that every once in a while we can you know use a spinning wheel because what i like is not what everybody else like like i like to do long nails but i'm not a fan of wearing 3x nails outside of my house like that but i am a fan of extra long nails or long nails so i'm in the middle you know what i'm saying so but some people like short nails so i just want to be fair to everybody so we are now starting on our design it is a simple design but it's also tedious so with this design what you want to do is you want to just start to make those curves you're going to make it meet up if you want to do color by color by color you can i made a mistake and i tried to do like one color and then put that color away that didn't work out for me, okay? <laughs> so, because that didn't work out for me, I did end up having to go over some of the colors again. Like, I had to overlap it, but it was after I put it in under the UV lamp. So, it ended up working out in the end. But, yeah, I wish that I would have just did, like, color behind color. But the thing about gel polish is it does spread. So, I was worried that it would spread and kind of go into the next color a little bit. So, that's why I was trying to, like, do it with separate layers. 
y'all do have to excuse me because I'm new to recording nails. So like, I was having like a zoom in issue and then on some parts I was kind of like way too low. So y'all couldn't really see what I was doing. So I do apologize about that. So for the remainder of the nails, I did just use the same gel polishes that I got off of Amazon. Um, they came in like a set. So I wanted it to be like, I saw these rainbow nails that were similar to this and I wanted it to give that effect. And it wasn't as a dramatic as an effect for me, but I think it's maybe because they were matte nails. That's just what we spun on the wheel. Mystery Mondays are always gonna be thrown the hell off. And we just might get some nails that are just out of pocket. But these actually did come out good. But I'm just saying, like, I think they would have been better glossy. But I'm a glossy nail girl. Like, I'm not really big on matte unless it's, like, a solid red or, like, black. Oh, those just make for the most beautiful matte colors. But, yeah. Anyway, so I continued to do my design. And then I ended up setting it with the matte top coat. Y'all going to see me do that in a little bit. I cannot wait till I get acrylic down pack because it's over after that. Like, I really do want to just do acrylic press on nails and then maybe i'll have like you know like a set clientele one day but for right now i really do want to keep the press on nail thing going and i do have a video where i kind of explained that so finishing up on the design this is our matte coat it come off as shiny but once you pop that thing in the dryer baby let me tell you once you put that, I keep saying dryer i'm just used to saying it because i did hair for so long but once you pop it in the uv like that matte is just so pretty, y'all. It's like it's unbeatable. Anyway, after we do that, we're gonna line it up with some glitter. And it's just this is just like a regular glitter um gel polish. And after we do the glitter, we're gonna do all of the nails except for um the ring finger. If you want to do the ring finger, you can. I chose not to because I just wanted that to like be nothing but matte. But if you want to do the ring finger, you can. And that is the finished video. Make sure you subscribe. It's getting to it. It's getting to it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cause it's not for me.